So here I am on the path that leads up to Llyn Ivan Vach, where, where is the Lady of the Lake uh, legend lies. So uh, I'm gonna head up and let's see what we find up there. So here I am, up at the top of uh, Llyn Ivan Vach, the site of where the legend of the Lady of the Lake takes place and inspired many of the thoughts of kind of Arthurian legends and the lady rising up. Here's how one telling of the legend goes. There was a young farmer, right? And one day he lived down in the valley below. And one day he brought up his cows to graze because he thought the grass up here would be better. Um, and he'd exhausted all the grazing down where he lived. As he got here and as he was tending the, the, uh, the cows, a beautiful lady rose out of the lake. He was immediately smitten and fell in love. She was looking at her reflection in the water. And when she looked up and saw him, she was smitten. The young man offered her some of his bread and cheese, but she refused. She said, no, the bread is too hard for me to eat. And then she disappeared back into the lake. The next day he came back again this time with unbaked bread, but again she refused, and once more she drifted below the water into the lake. The third day he came back with bakestone bread that his mother had made freshly, and this time the lady ate the bread. There and then he proposed to her, and she agreed that she would marry him, but only on one condition. She said, if you ever strike me with iron, then I shall return and you shall see me no more. He agreed, of course, because why would he strike anyone so beautiful ever with anything, never mind iron? And so she left the lake and moved down with him to the farmhouse far below in the valley. And they lived happily and they had three sons until one day the young man, not so young anymore, was tending to his horse. But the horseshoe fell off and it hit his wife accidentally. And the lady immediately said that she was gone and she left and she moved and came back here and she disappeared once more into the lake, never to be seen again. The story has been adapted in many, many different ways. Um, but what it shows and what it suggests about here is that this lady was one of the fairies because of the fairy people were able to come and go between this world and in Welsh, the Anoin, the other world, where the uh, mystical creatures and the fairies lived. But there's an interesting other part of the story to this, because the couple had three sons, and even after their mother had returned to the lake, the three sons would come and visit here. Sometimes the mother would reappear from the lake, and one day she told them and took them to a wooded area, and she taught them all about the herbs and the flowers, and the plants and how they could heal if used in the right way and she said one day you will be famous famous physicians and you'll use what you told what i've told you to heal those three men became the physicians of motherwine